नमस्ते हाइडी जी नमस्ते कैथरीन कैथरीन जी सो हाउ आर यू ऑल Hi. Hi. Good too. Thank you so much. Okay, then let's begin today's session. Sit in any comfortable pose, and then close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Long exhale out. Inhale. And then exhale. Now we will chant three times Om together. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Now join your hands together in front of your heart center. Bow your head down, and then open your eyes while blinking. And namaste to everyone. Okay, so let's begin with the warm up. As we discussed yesterday, we will talk about camel pose. Let's warm up ourselves. Press your palms into your mat. Now, with the next inhalation, lift your head up. Make a nice arc on your back. Look up high to the ceiling. Exhale, lower your head down. Hump on your back. Push your hips forward. Inhale again. Head up. Look up high. Exhale, lower your head down. Hump on your back. Inhale again. Look up high to the ceiling. Press your hands into your mat. Look up high and then hold for three, two, one. Now exhale, release your spine back to the neutral position. Now from here, send your right leg back up in the air. Make it toes pointed, and then exhale. Bring your knee forward towards your head. Squeeze there. Inhale again. Take your right leg up in the air. Make it toes pointed. Exhale. Bring your knee forward. Squeeze there. Inhale again. Take your right leg up in the air. Exhale. Bring your knee forward towards your head. For the last time, inhale. Take your right leg up. Make it toes pointed, and then exhale. Send your right leg out to the right side. Now come up high to the center. Arms extended out. Now from here, go far forward towards your right hand, and then drop your right hand on your right leg. Reach your left arm up over the ear. Now with the next inhalation, lift your chest up. Look up high to the ceiling. Pull up high. Be gentle in the stretch. Inhale again back to the center. And then exhale. Drop your left hand on your left heel, and then sweep your right arm up over the ear. Push your hips forward. Open up your chest, and then stretch your all anterior group of muscles. Tuck your back toes under. Push your hips forward. Now inhale. Sorry, exhale back to the center. While exhaling back to the center. Now from here, first. Twist your spine to the right side, and then drop your right hand on your left heel. Take your left heel, take your left toes, take your left toes under, and then push your hips forward. 
look forward and then hold for three. Uh, Catherine, drop your right hand on your left heel. On your left heel. This is your right heel, yes. Now push your hips forward. Push your hips forward, make an arch, arc on your back. And then hold for three. Go more deep into the posture, two. Push forward, good job. Three, two, one. Now exhale back to the center. Now from here, now place your left hand again on your left leg and then sweep your right arm up over the ear and then push your hips forward, look front and then hold for three. Stretch, two, one. Now exhale back to the center. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Stretch. And then hold there. One, two, three, four, five. Now inhale back to the center. Now from here, we will do that twisting from the right side. Drop your right hand on your left heel. Right hand on your left heel. Uh, Heidi, did you switch your legs? Do not switch your legs. Just stay into that previous position. Don't switch. Yes. Now right hand on your left heel, push your hips forward. And then look front, chest open, and then hold for three. Two, look front, very nice. One, exhale back to the center. Now release your hands down into the tabletop. Now inhale again, head up, look up high. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. Inhale again, head up, look up high to the ceiling. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. One more time, inhale, head up, look up high. Exhale, bring your spine back to the neutral position. Now from here, send your left leg back up in the air. Send your left leg back. Exhale, bring your knee forward towards your head. Inhale, again, take your left leg back. Exhale, bring your knee forward towards your head. One more time, inhale, take your left leg back and then stretch your left leg out to the left side and then drop your left leg down right there on your mat or on the floor. Come up high. Now reach your left hand to the left side and then drop your left hand on your left leg. Reach your right arm up over the ear and then hold. Just be gentle into this stretch. Five. Four, keep on stretching, three, two, and one. Inhale again, back to the center. Now from here, drop your right hand on your right heel. Tuck your back toes under. Heidi, tuck your toes, tuck your toes. No, that, that right leg. Tuck your right toes under. Yes, like this. Now reach your left hand up, and then push your hips forward. Make a nice arc on your back. Hold for three, turn your palm facing to your face, two, three, four, and then five, inhale, sorry, exhale back to the center. Now twist your spine to the left side and then drop your left hand on your right heel. Push your hips forward. And then hold there. For three, two, one. Inhale back to the center, arms extended out. Now one more time, we will twist our spine to the right side. Right hand on your right leg. And then push your hips forward, chest open. 
and then hold for three, two, and one. Exhale, release really back to the center. One more time on the other side, twist your spine, left hand on your right heel, and then push your hips forward, palm facing to your face, and then stretch out, hold five, four, to sustain that stretch, that extension on your thoracic region, two, one, exhale back to the center, and then release your hands down into the tabletop. Now inhale, again, head up, look up high to the ceiling. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. Inhale, again, head up, look up high. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. Push your hips forward. Inhale, head up, look up high to the ceiling. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. Push your hips forward. Inhale, back to the center for the tabletop. Now drop your chest down and chin down on the floor into a Stang Namaskar. Uh, go a little forward, Catherine, good job. Now stay here. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Now inhale, swing forward for the Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Chest open, elbows bent. Pull your chest up, elevate your shoulders high. Sorry, depress your shoulders down and then elevate your chest up. And then exhale, roll back on your toes for the downward facing dog. Now pedal out your legs one by one. Bend your one leg at a time. Keep on stretching, reach your tailbone high. Press your shoulders down. Now press your hands, bend your knees, jump forward. For the halfway look up. Exhale, completely bend down, lower your head down. Now inhale, take your arms up over the head. Now grab your elbows together and then push your hands away from your head. Do not push your hips forward, hips back, right above your heels. Hold five, four, three, Two, one, exhale, hands on the floor, completely bend forward. Inhale, halfway look up, Ardhuttanasan. Exhale, jump back to Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, upward facing dog, Urdh Mukhaswanasan. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukhaswanasan. Now pedal out your legs, one by one. Now take your right leg up in the air, all the way high. Exhale, step in between your both hands. Now sweep your arms over the head for the warrior A. Take your hands up, hips square. Now bend your elbows into cactus hands. Open up your chest. Good job. Keep pushing your hips down. Exhale, hands on the floor, and then jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Now inhale, Urdhva Mukhaswanasan, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back on your toes for the downward facing dog. Now again, pedal out your legs one by one. Bend your one leg at a time. Keep on stretching. Now send your left leg back up in the air all the way high and then step forward in between your both hands. Now arms up over the head. Stretch, push your hips down, press your back heel on the floor. Now slightly bend your elbows into cactus hands and then hold for three, two, and one. Exhale, hands on the floor. And again, jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now jump forward. Outside of your hands into the yogi squats. Join your hands together. Pull your chest up. Keep on opening. Now take your right hand away from your body to the right side. Now push your left leg from your left hand and then lift your head up to the left side. 
Just keep pushing out, lift your head up, and then hold for three. Uh, Catherine, just take your right hand, make sure your right hand is in front of your right leg. Okay, yes. Push your hand away, hold for three, two, keep pushing out, one. Now inhale back to the center. Now on the other side, take your left hand out to the left side and then push your right leg with your right hand. Just open and then hold there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale again back to the center, join your hands together. Now press your palms, jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now from the downward facing dog, release your knees down, rest in child pose. Is your spine warm now? Heidi and Catherine, all right. Now look at me here, how we are going to enter into the camel pose. So first of all, we'll be in the downward facing dog. See, if you're doing vinyasa and you want to get into camel pose, so this is how you may get in there. First, you will reach your hip side, you will drop your, you will bend your legs at the knee and try to bring in thighs as close as possible to your abdomen. And then slowly, gently move your hips down, move your hips down towards your heels and keep pressing your hands and then drop your heels down. It's more like a child pose, all right? Now from here, walk your, walk your both hands to the right side and place your right hand on your right heel, okay? And then take your left hand up and then push your hips forward. See, you have to place your right hand in at the first. After that, you have to push your hips forward, okay? So do not push your hips forward and then place your hand. It is not going to be like this. First, place your hand on, the, on your right heel and then pull your abdomen in, inhale there, and then push your hips forward and look front. Like this, and then look front, okay? So in the beginning, we will be doing like this. After that, we'll completely down. Now come up high into the downward facing dog. <clears throat> Slightly bend your knees, and then reach your tailbone high, and then go, like continue to lower your knees down towards the floor. Completely down and sit back on your heels. Good job. Now walk your both hands to the right side. Yes, make sure your abdomen is down on, on your thighs. Now go far forward towards your right side and then place your right hand on your right heel and then pull your left hand up over the head and then push your hips forward and then look front. Left hand would be right above your head. And then hold, one. Look front, chest open, two. Make sure your legs are open, hip width apart. Three, four, five. Now, if you want to exit that posture, you have to first move your hips back. First move your hips back. No, 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 move your hips back first. Back to your heel. Move your hips back to your heels and then get back to the child pose. Now on the other side, walk your both hands to the left side and then slowly, gently drop your left hand on your left heel and then reach your right arm up and then push your hips forward and make a nice arc on your back and then hold there, five, four, three, two, and one. First move your hips back and then rest into the child pose if you want. Okay, now let's understand the difference between uh, this, which we just did right now, and in between these, when you are taking your hands up and then dropping your hand down like this. Okay, so here we have got engagement when you are placing your hips down on your heels, and you're pulling your abdomen in, like you're pulling your abdomen in, this is, the, this is the engagement of your abdomen. Once you engage your abdomen, your lower back will be protected. 
as we did uh, in the cobra pose and upward facing dog the same way we are going to <clears throat> apply the concept concept of this back bend we're going to pull your abdomen in and then we're going to engage our abdomen so that our lower back gets protected you will place your right hand and then push your hips forward and then pull your left hand up okay and now we will do like this so here when you're taking your hands up over the head and then dropping your heels down and it will be a bit difficult to perform the posture okay so let's differentiate how we how it is different and what are the difference in between both of them okay so i want you to perform from both way yes kathleen first we will do the second way first lift the hips up now just get to the posture with your one hand that is fine to enter with your right hand or left hand only one hand is fine yes so now try to go with that another way Yes, Kathy. This was your first way to get in there. This was your first approach. Now we will apply the second approach. First, move your hips down. Now from here, inhale, and then place your right hand on your right heel. Pull your abdomen in. Pull up high, and then hold there. Okay. Now exhale. Release back. Release your hips down. So, which one you feel more comfortable, or which one you feel like uh, more protective? Um, the first one that we did, where you reach round and then lift your hips like that. And you, Catherine, which one you feel more comfortable? Yeah, always the. Okay. See why does this happen? Because here, when you are see when you are uh, entering into the posture or any any posture that you are going to perform, you have to be engaged from the beginning. Okay. Once you enter into the posture and then you are you are trying to engage your like engage your body, then it will not benefit you in that way. Okay, which we are looking for. So from mm -hmm. the beginning, you have to be engaged. so this is this is like this is how we are going to engage from the beginning when we are keeping our hips on the on our heels and then we are pulling our abdomen in and then getting into the posture but if you are performing without engagement of your abdomen like this see from here if i'm going to engage let's suppose i'm trying to engage from the beginning inhale now my abdomen engage is engaged but when i'm getting down to the posture now i'm losing my abdomen all right because i'm not that much aware but when i'm here into this position my hips are on my heels and now from here i'm going to open up my chest first okay then pulling on my abdomen in now i'm engaged with my abdomen now from here with the next inhalation i'm going to push forward see this engagement is still remain there but when i was performing like this even after i'm trying very hard to get like my abdomen engages but i cannot get this engage when i'm pushing down the gravity is pulling you in the same way but at that time you are going against the gravity in this first approach but in the second approach we are going uh, we are going towards the gravity okay so towards the gravity is very hard to uh, inhale and engage your abdomen let's suppose you are going Like you are doing chaturanga dhanasan. How do we do chaturanga dhanasan? Against the gravity or to, towards the gravity? What do you feel like? Towards the gravity. Towards the gravity. Let's suppose if gravity is pulling us completely down towards the floor, so then will we lie down on our abdomen? So that will be no more chaturanga dhanasan, right? 
but here in the chaturanga there are asan when we are holding or when we are still there at the time we are working against the gravity okay so let's suppose gravity is pulling us down if we do not let if we do not resist this action then we cannot hold into chaturanga dandasan right so we have to resist the same action we have to resist the gravity or we have to resist this flexion of our arms okay same thing happens in your camel pose if you are going towards the gravity it will be hard to engage your abdomen but when you are when you are here in this position and you are reaching your hips high now it will be easy to engage with your abdomen okay mm -hmm. and one more thing in this if you are rotating hands like this if you are rotate if your hands are rotating inward then you will not have you will not have that much openness in your chest or in your thoracic region okay instead of doing this you have to rotate your hands outward like this all right mm -hmm. and the second thing you have to maintain the gap in between your both legs hip with apart if you are keeping your legs together and then you cannot easily like you are not letting your hips to go or move freely mm -hmm. okay so we need to have that extension of our hips out of rotation of our legs in this camel pose okay and uh, one more thing if you are doing that complete camel pose poor um poor camel matlab complete camel pose you have to be completely down from your lumbar region but when you are doing half camel pose at that time this is called ushd asan in sanskrit okay ushd asan when you are doing poor ushd asan at that time you have to be completely drop down with your hand and now you are bending from your lumbar region but we we just did half camel pose we were trying to open up from our thoracic region in the beginning at first we'll open from the thoracic region then we'll move further to the lumbar region then uh, it will be complete camel pose okay so let's try that complete camel pose now now keep your hands on your heels yes Now, from, yeah, both hands on your heels. Now, with the next inhalation, push your hips forward, pull your chest up. Very nice. Now, slowly, gently rotate your hand outward. Rotate your hand outward, and then drop your hands down on your mat. Rotate your hand completely outward. Yes, rotate your hands completely outward. Okay, now come back, come back. Go easy, go easy, go easy, Catherine. And how did you do? See, when you're performing camel pose, as I say, rotation of outer rotation of your arm that should be. See, still you are rotating your hands outward, but we need to have more outer rotation in our arms. Okay, when we are performing pure ushd asan. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna first flatten our palms on the floor. Okay, I'm not warmed, but I will try. And then take your hands back. Okay, and then grab your feet with your both hands. Okay, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Just look at uh, Catherine. Look at her. How she's doing. Then she's gonna look at you. As you both look at me. <laughs> okay. Heidi, you are going to perform. <laughs> Now place your hands on the mat, on the floor. Very nice. Now take your one hand up, and then drop down. Yeah, go easy, go easy, go easy. And then from here, you're gonna grab your feet, but it's not possible. <laughs> Now I think so. So how are you gonna come back? Yeah, yeah, go easy. So you must be feeling a lot of intense, intense over like tense over here, mm -hmm. right? The intensity of your hip flexor that gets increased in this pose mm -hmm. because we are completely bending down and we are making that D. Now, Catherine, your turn. Would you like to try?
and then take your one arm up. Just take your one arm up. Yes, and then drop down and then switch your other arm also. Yes, go slow, go slow. If it's possible, if it's getting too intense, then release that. Now come back, hips. Good job. Okay. Okay, now, how did you feel, Catherine? Yeah, it's a lot of, um, okay, it's okay. <laughs> going deeper, not now. Are you, Heidi, is it, your spine is okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, if you want to, uh, like, get the perfection or good, get a good hold of this posture, you can always take the support of the wall. Mm -hmm. Take the support of anything, wall or sofa, anything is around there. Okay, so from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my, take the, my heel support and then reach your one arm over the head. And then adjust your right hand against the wall and then take your other hand behind and then go down, go down as deep as possible and then get to the full canopy. Mm -hmm. Now you guys perform. Are you guys warm or not? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Just take the support of the wall and then try it. <laughs> yeah, you can take the support of the table, that is also fine. Yes, take your one arm up. And then press the table. Do not drop your head. Yes. Make sure your hand, your hands are straight. Push. Push your hands. Push your hands completely. Push. Do not get down. Do not get down. Do not get down. Try to keep your hands straight. It was too high to do that. Okay. Yes. Good job, Catherine. And then try to look front. And if you are having a lot of pressure or compression on your lower back, then release but make sure you are elevating your chest and then getting down. Good job. See, your hand, your shoulders are not that much open. That's why your hands are over bent in that pose. Okay, so what else you can do in this pose? First, you're gonna keep our hips on our heels. Okay, and take the one arm distance from the wall like this. After this, push your hip forward and then take your one arm, one arm back and then other arm back. All right, so from here, make sure your hands are straight and then you're gonna move your hips back. Okay, while inhaling again, you're gonna push your hip forward while exhaling, move your hips back. Now inhale and then exhale like this, okay? And then make sure hips are on your heels. Then you're releasing the posture. If you're, if you're releasing from here, and then you will have a lot of compression on your lower back, and then you may get injured. Mm -hmm. Okay? Perform like this. Try. Make sure your hands are straight. If your hands are not straight, then you can move your hands more upward. You can move your hands upward. Very nice. Now move your hips back towards your heel with the straight arms. Good job. Keep your hands straight. Keep your hands straight. 
and then push his forward once again push his forward good job look front look front again move your hips back now again with the next inhalation push it forward and then lift your chest up make a nice arc on your back now move your hips back on your heels now with the next inhalation again lift your chest up and straight behind your head and then hold there hold hold here when your hips are on your heels and the hips are on your heels and then take your arms up take your arms up uh, katrin and then press your hands against the wall yes and then hold for three hands straight keep your hands straight no cheating two one now again push your hips forward good job and then while exhaling release back and rest in child pose so do you guys have any question about this camel pose if you don't have then we will do forward bends or counter poses um could you modify it for someone that couldn't like it was too if it was too much of a stretch for them to go back like that okay. see if somebody is uh, like somebody cannot perform or who is having a lot of stretch to get in there you can always use the block like this mm -hmm. okay no need to get deep in into the posture you just need mm -hmm. to use the block and then mm -hmm. take your one arm up over the head like this mm -hmm. but but make sure your hands are rotating outward if you are doing like this then there is no benefit of mm -hmm. uh rotating your hands inwards and getting extension on your thighs it is and do you always keep your um toes tucked under yeah see when you are tucking your toes under you will have that height from the floor once you mm -hmm. get the height from the floor you will have more extension and you continue to deepen into the posture okay okay and uh, do you guys have pain on your lower back or on your thighs either no. are you both okay oh, yeah. a little pain tiny little bit yeah okay then uh, lie down on your back now let's do paschimottanasan seated forward bend completely come up high grab your big toes no 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 you have to sit up sit up sit up on your butt and grab your heels now from here move back into halasan plow pose okay wait this is your paschimottanasan okay now from here we will perform halasan plow pose <laughs> again sit back again come up high into plow pose just keep on moving like this while exhaling get to the posture while inhaling come up high again exhale into paschimottanasan inhale and then exhale okay in the middle you will inhale while exhaling you will perform the posture let's do this for three more times 3 2 one now all the way come up high and sit in any comfortable pose that you like keep your eyes closed spine straight take a deep breath in and then long exhale out 
inhale and then exhale now we will chant one om followed by three shanti take a deep breath in Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Join your hands together in front of your heart center. Bow your head down. And then open your eyes while blinking. And namaste to everyone. Enjoy your day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.